Uh, so colleagues uh, from the media, Minister Brass, once again welcome to uh, Jakarta and it is a very honor for me to receive your first official visit to Indonesia. And this year marks the uh, 31st anniversary of our diplomatic relation. Uh, despite the geographical uh, distance, we share common values and aspiration toward ensuring global peace and stability, and of course, the prosperity of our two people. Colleagues, in the bilateral meeting, uh, I highlighted uh, important areas of cooperation. Number one is how important for both of us to strengthen the G2G uh, cooperation or relation, as well as other stakeholders' uh, relation. And in this case, the role of Parliament is very important in strengthening uh, the relation. So that's why I'm very pleased uh, to note the decision to institutionalize the interparliamentary cooperation. Second, on the economic cooperation. This is very important uh, cooperation. And Latvia is one of uh, Indonesia's uh, most important uh, trading partners in Baltic uh, region. And uh, on, on trade, we share the same views on the importance of finalizing the indonesia au jepa negotiation as soon as possible. I'm also note, uh, pleased to note the renewal MOU between the Indonesian and Latvian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. And I do hope that business interaction and cooperation will continue to grow, including on green economy and sustainable tourism sector. Third, um, on the cooperation in the field of education, culture, and also on the, uh, uh, the uh, many uh, uh, issues related to the uh, uh, inform, uh, information. I highlighted potential collaboration in the field of education, including joint research, collaboration between university, and to facilitate ease of application of visa for Indonesian students wishing to study in Latvia. And Indonesia is also very proud that Riga Bors Art Museum uh, in Latvia is currently hosting 76 Indonesia cultural artifacts. This is the largest number among Southeast Asian cultural items in the museum. And Indonesia and Latvia are also finalizing the negotiation on the MOU on the cooperation in the field of uh, culture. Of course, during the discussion, we discuss the uh, regional global issues, and I welcome very much uh, Latvia's support toward peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific, including Indonesia's effort toward building an inclusive regional architecture through the ASEAN outlook on the Indo-Pacific. Lastly, on the global issue, we discuss a number of issues. Um, the position of Indonesia is very clear. We should uphold international law in a consistent uh, manner. So uh, lastly, uh, we appreciate Indonesia, appreciate uh, very much the uh, uh, support of Latvia toward Indonesia's entry to OECD, which is significant toward advancing Indonesia's journey toward a sustainable and inclusive economic growth. So once again, Minister Brass, I thank you very much for your visit to Indonesia. We will see each other again very soon, um, uh, at least in Unga in September in New York. Let me start by thanking Minister Mansodi for the warmest of welcomes back to Indonesia. It's not my first visit as a person. I was here as first non-resident ambassador of Latvia, accredited to Indonesia, but it's my first visit outside Europe as a bigger region, so I'm very, very pleased to be here. We indeed are like-minded, both in the United Nations and looking at the wider global issues. The UN Charter and its principles provides a very strong framework for solving various issues, whether it's the right to self-defense or settlement of border issues, uh, the justice issues, 
UN Charter is the framework that we all rely on. Also, let's remember that on the basis of the UN, there are other internationalizations and treaties that have developed, whether it's the WTO, the World Trade Organization, whether it's the United Nations or others. So um, in, in that respect, I think uh, for us it's very important to hear Indonesia's views on, on joint issues that we feel important in the United Nations, be it on women, peace, security, be it on cyber security or media literacy or regional issues. So uh, we are running for the UN Security Council and we were learning a lot from how successful Indonesia was during its term. Uh, we also compared the notes on the regional security challenges, be it in the Euro-Atlantic region or Southeast Asia. And again, it's important that respect for international law, for the principles of the UN Charter, be it non-aggression, be it respect for territorial integrity, the borders, that it is observed by all countries. We are very grateful to Indonesia for upholding those principles, also with regard to the, to the Southeast Asian challenges, but also with regard to Russia's aggression against Ukraine. The bilateral relationship is excellent. We have no challenges, we have no problems. So we're just building on that success. The trade is growing, it should be even more. Uh, it's, it's, I think, uh, yet suboptimal. And also in terms of investment, we believe that both Indonesia provides a very attractive place to invest, but also Latvia provides access to the 500 million market of the EU, viable digital infrastructure, growing ICT sector, which is the biggest part of the economy, ports, airports. Uh, so we, we covered all of that. So we are both committed to proceed and to build on the success that we have. And, and once again, at the private level, I'm very happy to be back. Thank you. Thank you very much, Karlik. Thank you.